Hi theater addicts and welcome to the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Festival. My name is Sonia and I'll be reviewing No Bells by Portal Theatre playing at the False Creek Gym at the community centre behind me. Portal Theatre is a small by design theatre company based out of Oregon and No Bells is their first play they wrote in 2014. It um, premiered at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, then toured at the Canadian Fringe in 2015, and has since been on various runs and tours, and even been shown at a couple of North American science conventions. Really cool. So the premise of the show, if uh, the science convention thing gives you any, any kind of a clue, uh, it's to do with women in science, particularly around Nobel Prizes in science and women in that field. The description of the show in the Fringe program says that only 17 out of like 590 or something scientists that have won the Nobel Prize for science, uh, only 17 of them are women. Uh, 18 prizes have been awarded to women and Ma Marie Curie um, has actually been awarded twice. Um, so Portal Theatre came up with the idea for this show uh, when they saw the creative team saw a shirt with five female scientists on it. The only one they were able to recognize was Marie Curie. Um, I guess she's kind of a renowned name in radiology and uh, what we do with radioactive isotopes and uh, you know, she made some breakthroughs in physics. That's about the extent of my knowledge there, um, not being much of a science buff. Uh, but the creative team was kind of surprised that there were four other women on this shirt and they couldn't recognize any of them. Uh, they looked up their names, they'd never heard of them, they had no idea who they were. So they came up with this idea for a play to kind of explore some of the lives and scientific discoveries of women in the science field, particularly women that have won Nobel Prizes. Maybe we should talk about them more. Um, you know, inspire, there's a, there's a movement, I think, lately to inspire women in science, women in positions of power. So I'm really excited to find out about who are these women in science. Um, is the show gonna talk about all 17 of them? Um, are they gonna focus on just a few? I have no idea, but I'm really excited to see where they take this idea. Hi, theater addicts, just saw no bells. This show was brilliant. You can tell it's really well rehearsed. Um, they've clearly been doing this for a long time and they're doing it so well. The show was fun, uh, exciting, educational, and emotional. I came out, there were moments in there that I wanted to cry. I felt terrible for some of the struggles that some of these female scientists have gone through and overcome um, in their pursuit of scientific discoveries and scientific recognition, um, you know, in recognition in society at large, but recognition within their own scientific communities as well. The format of the show was episodic. There were eight short episodes about eight different women in science. Not all of them Nobel Prize winners, but uh, most of the stories did touch on why maybe they were excluded from winning Nobel Prizes or being nominated or... Um, so it, it touched on the Nobel Prize thing. Uh, for everything, which made me realize that the show's title, No Bells, is a play on the whole No Bell thing. It's a great pun. Excellent. I don't know why I missed it at first, um, but I, it's a great title. I was just thinking No Bells, you know, Bells, women having struggles uh, for recognition in science, but I love the play on words. I love it. Uh, don't know how I missed that. It's excellent. Um, really well chosen title. To keep the episodic structure exciting, they do something different in each one. In some of the episodes, the actors, there's three actors, uh, they play the different scientists. Sometimes they play other characters that the scientists encounter uh, in their um, episodes. Um, but they do other interesting things as well. In one of them, they had a sock puppet bit to help clarify who's who, because there's so many characters that are important in that episode. Um, in another one, they read letters that the scientists, uh, this one scientist has received from various patients and people that her research has affected. Um, in other episodes, there's um, like little action scenes uh, and uh, the artistic director for the performance is actually also the musician. So he 
Uh, Michael Phillips is in the background playing a ukulele, and it really works. He's not playing all the time, but when he is, it just really fits the scene, and it works really, really well. I really liked all of the episodes. It would be really hard to pick a favorite, but uh, I will comment on the first and the last one. I think they framed the show really well with the episodes they did for the beginning and the end. The very first one opened uh, with a spoken word rap about Marie Curie, which was excellent. And also an excellent introduction into uh, the content of the show because most people have heard of Marie Curie and have not heard about the other uh, scientists that they talk about. Uh, so it was excellent as an intro and um, uh, definitely put you in a bit of that like fun, playful, but like educational content mindset. So it, was, it worked really well. The last episode they leave us with is with uh, Rosalind Yallow. And um, one of the final things they do in the show is reenact and read her Nobel Prize speech, the speech she read when she accepted the Nobel Prize. And she gave the speech in 1977. In a lot of ways, I feel like it's ahead of its time. Um, it's reflecting on women's position in the sciences and kind of under recognition for the time, but it also still rings true today. Like we've made progress, but there's still more. There's still room for more progress. Um, and it was just, such a such a nice way to end. The show is performed by three actors, Melissa Schenter, Jade Strong, and Kimberly Wilson, and they were all incredible. The three of them interact so well with each other on stage. They share the attention. They they work so well together. You can tell that they've been doing this well for a while. It was a pleasure to watch them. They are so talented, and this this show is so relevant and so good. Um, you know, it's been around, they've been doing it since 2014 when they first wrote it. I can totally see them doing this for not just another four years, but for like 40 years. This is going to continue to be relevant. Uh, if they do continue doing this show, it will be so interesting to see the content perhaps change over time as maybe more women in the sciences win Nobel Prizes. My name is Sonia, reviewing No Bells by Portal Theatre at False Creek Gym as part of the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Festival. Um, we'd love to hear what you think about this show and others. Uh, please leave your comments uh, below and follow our Theatre Addicts YouTube channel to hear more interviews and reviews as they come in.